Hello, amazing viewers, and welcome to the core of self-improvement, the ultimate hub for self-improvement and personal growth. I'm thrilled you've joined us for an incredible journey today. Are you ready to take a giant leap towards becoming the best version of yourself? If you are, hit that subscribe button now to join our community of self-improvement enthusiasts. In the first video, we talked about self-awareness, goal setting, mindset, self-discipline, and so on. In today's video, we're going to explore the pillars of self-improvement too, a comprehensive guide that will empower you to transform every aspect of your life, if you use it. Picture this. You have the power to master time, emotions, finances, relationships, self-reflection, and purpose. We're diving deep into these six pillars, and by the end of this video, you'll have a toolkit for extraordinary self-improvement. So, let's get started. 1. Time Management Is the ability to effectively organize and prioritize your tasks and activities to make the most of your available time. It's about making every moment count. Setting clear goals, prioritizing tasks, creating a to-do list, time blocking, etc. Are they principles of time management? Learn how to use them and incorporate them in your daily life. First up, we have prioritizing tasks and responsibilities. This is the art of distinguishing what's crucial from what's trivial. Ever wonder how some people seem to effortlessly conquer their tasks while others struggle to keep up? It's all about mastering the art of prioritization. Here's an example. Imagine you're a student juggling classes, work, and social commitments. Instead of treating all tasks equally, prioritize studying for an upcoming exam over binge-watching your favorite show. By doing so, you're aligning your actions with your long-term goals. To make prioritization a habit, consider using the calendar and to-do lists. They will help you allocate your most precious resource. We'll dive deeper in the other key principles in a future video. 2. We have emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is the cornerstone of healthy relationships and self-improvement. It is the ability to recognize, understand, manage, and effectively use emotions in ourselves and in our interactions with others. Key Components of Emotional Intelligence Self-Awareness As you can see, self-awareness appear almost in every subject of self-improvement. Then you have self-regulation, motivation, empathy and social skills, and much more. Start with understanding and managing your own emotions. Self-awareness is the key to recognizing your emotional triggers and effectively managing stress. Empathizing with others and building healthy relationships is equally vital. Empathy connects us on a deep level, fostering cooperation and resolving conflicts. 3. Financial Management Next on our journey is financial management, where we'll discover the path to financial freedom. Begin with creating a budget and managing finances responsibly. It's about living within your means and making informed financial decisions. Investing wisely and saving for the future is a long-term game plan. Wise investments can generate passive income, while saving ensures financial security. Here are some key components of financial management. Budgeting. Creating a budget is the foundation of financial management. Emergency fund. Build an emergency fund for financial stability. This fund serves as a financial safety net in case of unexpected expenses, such as medical bills, car repairs, or job loss. Savings and investments. Saving and investing your money is a key part of financial management. Debt management. Managing and reducing debt is crucial for financial health. 4. Networking and social skills. Now let's explore networking and social skills, the keys to building a supportive community, and we'll dive in one of the characteristics of active listening that are fundamental for networking and social skills. Begin by building a supportive network of friends and colleagues. Networking is about forming genuine connections that offer guidance and opportunities. Develop strong interpersonal skills for effective communication. It includes active listening, clear expression, and adaptability to social situations. There are so many characteristics of networking and social skills that we'll dive deeper in a future episode. For now, I'll give an example of active listening and why it's essential to practice it. Active listening is a communication technique that involves fully focusing, understanding, and engaging with the speaker during a conversation. It goes beyond simply hearing the words someone is saying. 
It entails giving your undivided attention to the speaker and making an effort to comprehend their message, feelings, and intentions. Here's why active listening is essential. It enhances understanding, improves communication, build trust and rapport. It's a problem-solving skill, helps for learning and growth, and is effective for leadership. How to practice active listening. Maintain eye contact with the speaker. Avoid interrupting or thinking about your response while the speaker is talking. Use verbal cues such as nodding or brief verbal affirmations. I see. I understand. Tell me more. Ask open-ended questions to encourage the speaker to share more. Minimize distractions and give the speaker your full attention. Overall, active listening is not only essential, it is a foundational skill in effective communication and building meaningful relationships. It fosters mutual respect, trust, and cooperation, making it a valuable skill in various aspects of life, from personal relationships to professional success. 5. Personal Reflection Personal reflection is our fifth pillar, a journey inward for self-improvement. Here is where we do introspection that can lead us to a deeper insight and gain more wisdom that we can incorporate in our daily life. Start by practicing mindfulness and self-reflection. Being present in the moment reduces stress and enhances focus. Evaluating your progress and adjusting your strategies is key. Regularly reviewing your goals and making necessary adjustments is crucial for growth. For this is necessary to have a notebook so you can register your progress. 6. Purpose and Meaning Last but not least, we explore purpose and meaning, the compass that guides our life's journey. Identify your life purpose and values. They provide a framework for aligning your actions with what truly matters to you. Align your actions with your sense of purpose. It's about making choices that resonate with your values, leading to a more fulfilling life. In a future video, we'll dive deeper into the fundamentals of purpose and how we can find purpose and meaning in our life. To sum it up, there you have it. The six pillars of self-improvement number two that can revolutionize your life. By embracing these principles, you'll embark on a transformative journey to become the best version of yourself. I encourage you to take action on these pillars one step at a time and watch as your life unfolds into a magnificent story of growth and self-discovery. Thank you for joining us on this extraordinary adventure. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with your friends, and comment below with your thoughts and questions. Remember, self-improvement is a lifelong journey, and the core of self-improvement is here to support you every step of the way. Until next time, keep growing, keep learning, and keep becoming the best version of yourself.